Smells of piss. Wow. Everywhere. I don't know if they're all from the roof or. Is there anything you'd like to say? You're famous. Now, hello and welcome to Lost in Europe Park 12. We're in the oldest city in Europe. That's absolutely crazy. We're about 8,000 years old, but anyway, we're in Plovdiv, second largest city in Bulgaria. So we're gonna have a little explore and I'll show you the ugly. Looks like a war zone and also some of the nicer stuff as well, because there are some uh, very well-preserved Roman monuments, I believe, in the city center. So we're gonna head through, we'll have a little chat, and uh, yeah, see what we find. Go. Right, so to start off anyway, I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of retrace my steps from yesterday and my first impression was not the best, put it that way. So I've decided I'm going to try and be a bit more transparent and I'll try and show you the, all the ugly stuff and also the nice stuff, hopefully if we find it, but yesterday I wasn't too keen, but it also was 39 degrees yesterday, it was insanely hot and I was absolutely dripping of sweat. Wasn't in a good mood anyway, so that might have played a part. But it's quite a lot cooler today, there's a nice breeze, it's about 26 degrees. The city centre is sort of through that way, so we'll take a wander through and uh, explore Plovdiv. So basically, because of all the construction work and stuff going on yesterday, I had to get like redirected to go another way, basically, to get to my hostel. And this was my first impression. Don't do that. Like this building's got like no roof on or anything, but uh, it's all open here. And you can see there's just rubbish and stuff everywhere. But I'm quite tempted to actually have a walk through. Let's go and have a little look, shall we? You can see there's uh, shit everywhere, graffiti. Wow, let me turn you around. Uh, I've got no idea what this building would have been, but bloody hell. How is there so much shit? Did people just fly to? It doesn't smell very nice either, but fucking hell, it smells of piss. Wow. All the rooms are just full. Wow, man. Right, look this way. So we've got this building, which is just completely stripped and open. I don't know if it's going to be demolished or what, what, but you can see there's just crap everywhere. Like an old mattress, maybe. Cups. Mirror. Boxes. This must be the local wasteland. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Let's have a little wonder somewhere else. So I've just came on the outside. I should probably be careful because I don't know if I'll be like security or something lurking around. So I probably shouldn't be here, but check out all that. I don't know if maybe this used to be like a school or something, but it's just completely stripped a bit. And then also over that way. Wow. <laughs> this isn't representative of Plovdiv, by the way. It's not just a massive dump. <laughs> anyway, let's head through and hopefully we can find some of the nicer parts. Right, you know what, I just couldn't help myself. So just turning around, I found a staircase. <laughs> Don't know if it's, uh, I won't go anywhere dodgy. This is all solid concrete, so all this should be fine. But, uh, wow. Bloody hell. Looks like a bomb's been dropped on this place. Bloody hell, man, like, look at all that. Just wooden beams everywhere. I don't know if they're all from the roof or... Bloody hell, it's like... Literally, it's like a war zone. I thought I was joking earlier. Oh, look at that lovely. I found a needle. Well, that was certainly a, an interesting find, wasn't it? But I suppose they've got ruins and abandoned places in every city, so we'll try not to judge Plovdiv too hard too soon. No promises, though. <laughs> this place does just feel a bit, a bit sketchy, a bit rough. But I think I definitely came the rough way yesterday anyway, so... Yeah, I do just want to say I haven't reached the old town yet, so I'm sure it is a lot nicer over that way. But just walking through the normal streets, you know, 
like the pavements and stuff. <laughs> I expected it to be a bit like what Brashov was to um, Bucharest, you know, like a smaller, cuter. Stop doing that, you silly phone. I'm, you're trying to watch a video and all that. All I'm doing is this. Fucking hell. Anyway, so I expected it to be a bit cuter, nice and, uh, nice and colourful. And it definitely hasn't proved to be that so far. You can see it. Um, pretty grey and then even the coloured even the colourful buildings themselves are sort of worn away you know right and finally I think we've stumbled across our first proper building that has a roof and isn't run down so I think this is some sort of a some sort of concert hall music venue something like that but it's very uh, blocky very concretey Soviety, some might say I'm hoping you can hear me okay the wind's a bit rough we're just gonna carry on through that way but the sun's at such an awkward angle it's like blinding and i'm struggling to uh you know it keeps going overexposed underexposed i don't know why i'm doing that like i'm some sort of spider-man or something we've also got a nice uh nice little monument on top of the hill there as well i was up there last night it was nice nice sunset nice and peaceful it's really nice views as well right now i want to say something good about plovdiv i really do but it's not exactly helping me out here is it <laughs> Hopefully I'll have something positive to say soon once we head into the proper centre. Seems to be quite a lot of little wild cats roaming the streets as well. Meow! It's coming. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm the cat whisperer. Do you want to be on the vlog? Hmm? Have you got any words of wisdom for the world? Hmm? Is there anything you'd like to say? Hmm? You're famous. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> there you go, famous cat. Well, make this, make that cat famous. Share, like, subscribe, all that rubbish. Make that cat famous. Make cats great again. Hello, mister. Hello. You're a cutie, aren't you? Sheba. Hello, Sheba. Woof, woof. <laughs> Nearly fell down that. So now you'll be thankful that uh, it's time for me to stop my whinging. We've made it into the centre and it's definitely a lot more pleasant. You can see uh, the buildings are a lot more proper, more presented there. And then we've got this beautiful mosque just behind me here. And then just behind me, we've also got some Roman ruins, which are about 200 AD, so about 1,800 years old. And then just over my right shoulder, we've got the massive, well-preserved Roman amphitheatre. Nah, I'm just kidding. So you can probably imagine when I got here last night expecting this incredible massive amphitheatre, I was a little bit disappointed when I just stumbled across this. Now it's still pretty big and it's still pretty impressive but this isn't actually it. So this is sort of like a, a stadium sort of thing but you can imagine it would have gone and stretched all the way along like a big massive circle but obviously I don't know if the other half still there you can still see it but it would have uh, seated 30,000 people it said which is pretty impressive but it is quite amazing really that all of this is just sort of sat in the middle of the city and you can just come and walk through it for free and the steps are pretty steep but it is amazing really that you can just come and sit in it and I don't know why more people aren't like this. Quite a few people like, stood on the outside where you can look in, but nobody's really coming in and just sitting in it. But it's, um, it's amazing really, and I think it's interesting as well. So this was built during the reign of um, Emperor Hadrian, the Roman Emperor. But if you, if you think 
on the complete other end of the Roman Empire, where I'm from in Newcastle, that was when they were building the Roman Wall, which was named after the Emperor Hadrian. So that must have been a similar time period, but you know, it just shows you the extent of the Roman Empire. You know, I'm on the complete other end of Europe in a complete foreign place. But yeah, it's uh, interesting to think about anyway. Uh, definitely, loved it as gone up in the rankings a little bit but we'll go and see the proper Roman amphitheatre now and there should be that concert going on so it should be pretty cool so let's go and check that out well this bit's definitely a lot prettier isn't it but I think the amphitheatre should be around here somewhere I've just climbed up onto the hill so let's try and find it right and finally I think we found it Gosh, it's just on these stairs down here Wow, a lot of backdrop as well. Let me turn you around. is incredible. I don't know if you can see those views behind me as well. Yeah, I'm just kind of coming up to, I might go up there. That was a good view. <laughs> what a spot. Right now, I did tell you I was going to be honest, didn't I? Now the stuff at the start, all of that was an absolute shithole. And I wasn't lying. But this is just, this is completely made up for it. What a special, special spot. So obviously we've got the amphitheatre, all these people are starting to fill in but the view in the background with the sun setting, everything's just a little golden. And of course, video never really does it justice, but wow. You know, like those special moments, which like, you know, you'll remember forever. I feel like this is going to be one of those, but hopefully the music starts soon. I'll give you a little sneak preview, but uh, wow. Cannot get over that. Guess who just decided not to film an outro again? But anyway, how cool is this music? The balls really put everyone else to shame, and it's been stuck in my head for about two weeks. Anyway, stay tuned because there's plenty more exciting videos coming soon, but not the next one. You can watch it there anyway, but the next one's a bit shit, so I wouldn't blame you if you just wanted to skip it and watch the rest. Bye.